Hey, what's up? My name's Lawrence Insula, and I'm in a studio in Soho, and I'm here to talk to you about my synth bass playing. So it all kind of started off about four years ago when I was starting um, with an artist called Rita Ora. So Rita's song, R.I.P., was probably the biggest um, challenge for me, and I was starting out with the artist, so I was given a whole bunch of stems. I'd always played electric bass, and I needed to learn synthesis because a lot of the songs that I was playing had synth bass in it and I was, you know, I was asked to recreate the sounds on the record. My electric bass playing is, um, I try to keep it very similar to my synth bass playing. So the way how I'd attack a note, the percussiveness in which I, I play the electric bass, even the tremolo that I'd add with my fingers, I approached it with the synth bass in the way I programmed the sounds in terms of where I wanted it to sit in the mix so that it cut through and the way I wanted it to, to you know, attack and release on the sound. What I'd say to anyone that's starting out with synth bass is to essentially just copy over what, what you already do on your main instrument, whether it's lead guitar or whether it's um, electric bass. You know, just, just try and recreate what you do on that, on the synth. Um, and you know, it will become just like an extension of what it is you already do with your instrument. So here we have it, the beast himself, uh, the JD XA. One super cool thing about this board is just with the one oscillator that you select, you've almost got two options with it. So what I mean by that is, you know, that's the, that's the bog standard saw um, and I can split the sound and control another aspect of that one oscillator with, um, you know, with this pitch. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's, that's ridiculous already. That's just one oscillator. You can see that I haven't added, haven't added anything else. And you can fine tune each one independently. That's that. And then you've also got like the mixer option so I can blend the sound again with just the one oscillator so far. On top of that, you, you can select a blend of white noise, pink noise, and the microphone. But you know, I kind of only would deal with the white noise aspect of it, so. That's one awesome. <laughs> you add on another one and you know, you've got another two with the one. So, so far with two oscillators selected, essentially I'm working with four. Another super cool aspect of the JDXA is the whole separate analog and digital engines in the machine. So there's, you know, I've demonstrated the whole super fatness with the analog, let alone the, the, the standalone analog out. So you could just have a pure analog out. So, you know, that's the analog aspect. So then to jump onto the digital stuff, I can blend a, a, a multitude of factory sounds. So you might recognize this one. So there's that, and then, you know, I layer it up. That's two, turn it into mono. And then I can just add the analog sound back. And bear in mind, this was just the one analog sound that I, I programmed just then. So yeah, absolutely endless possibilities. You can stack them up. So obviously there's loads of effect options on the JDXA. For this example, um, for RIP, what I use is an equalizer that affects only the analog engine. So highlight all of the oscillators, go over to the effects side, find an equalizer, do whatever I need to do on that side, jump back over to the digital, again, selecting all of the oscillators, do what I need to do there, and that affects the separate parts of the sound coming from the analog and digital side. So let me show you how quickly you can create a great bass sound using the JDXA from scratch. So.
So in addition to all the other features that I've mentioned, it's just a great feeling board. The keys feel great. The knobs are really responsive. The sliders, even like the LED lights, it's just, it's a great feeling board. Uh, you know, the whole being able to program a patch in about a minute, saving it all to a USB, hiring another keyboard in the middle of nowhere, plugging in and going. It's just, it's a great, it's a great thing to have when you're a touring musician and you're playing in different places and you don't always have your own gear. It's an amazing board.